Well, good afternoon, travelers. Todd and Michelle here, and we have made our way back over to Fort Wilderness because tonight is Chuck Wagon Roundup. Right over here, it is on Tuesdays and Wednesdays nights because hoop de doo and what's the other place? God. Uh I can't read Trails it. End. far away. Trails End is closed, so they bring in um, third-party food trucks over here. What does that say? Trails End. That right there. Crockett's Tavern. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now she needs the glasses. I can't see that far away. So come along. We're going to do a little exploring. Go see the other gift shop here at Fort Wilderness and see what the food trucks have to offer tonight. So come along and let's see what they have to offer us. <laughs> so that's I twice. know. I said that twice. I was I was trying to say Crockett's Tavern is open today too. And they got light bites, I think, at Crockett Tavern. Right. So we're gonna see what they we're gonna we're see, to see what they the have to offer us. Yes. Here at Fort Wilderness when um Hoop de doo and the tavern. What do they call it? <laughs> Trails in. Trails in is closed. And we've eaten here five thousand times. <laughs> um when they're closed, what they have to offer yeah. here at Wilderness Campground. Plus, this is part of our Disney dining, so we have yes. to check this off for our Disney dining. So come along and let's see what the food trucks have to offer us tonight. And this is why we are here. It is food truck roundup night on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and we wanted to come out and see what is here tonight. Our chariot awaits right here. We got a great one today. Okay, so this is Crockett's Tavern, which is beer, wines, and cocktails right there. It's a walk-up window, and this is their menu right here. And I do believe they have some indoor seating as well. So the other food options on Tuesday, on Tuesday and Wednesday nights is PJ Southern Takeout. They do breakfast and they do a dinner. And they have a fried chicken meal that is really good here. And um, we've done a video of that. We'll link that down below. Let's go take a look inside and see what they have to offer. So this is their case, the cold case right here. The cookies. Oh, that turtle brownie back there looks pretty good. But that strawberry shortcake is pretty much the strawberry shortcake they serve at hoop de doo But this is what they're known for. There are three cupcakes right there. It's a chicken dinner cupcake trio for $9.99. And it looks like a little piece of fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and peas. And then, of course, there are Campfire S'mores Cupcake back there for the 50th. They have some salads. And this is where you get your refillable mugs when you um, come and stay for a resort stay. And the Coke machine to refill and coffee machine is right around the corner here. So this is the inside of Crockett Tavern, and like I said, they do have some seating on these nights, but when you order your light bites from Crockett's Tavern right over here, you have to pick them up at another location. You will come right over here. This used to be the buffet line for Trails End. You will come over here and pick your light bites up and take them back to your table, but then they have all the condiments and stuff over here, and then the utensils and napkins. But that is a new change for us, which I didn't even know. So you will come here to pick up your light bites from Crockett's Tavern. And of course, even Fort Wilderness has a arcade right here. Hours of eight to 11. We'll step in here real quick, see if there's nobody in here. But this is pretty much it. A couple little games here. A couple games around the corner. Oh! Galaga and Miss Pac-Man right there. Two of my favorite games. And then, which is really odd, there's a couple more games right up in this way. But that door right there leads to Trails End. So if everybody remembers Reflections, the new DVC Resort, Disney Vacation Club Resort, was right supposed to be right over there behind the green. And they had actually put green fencing all around the lake, but they have taken that down and refence this area so it's a beautiful view from Crockett's Tavern Port Cherry. So if anybody remembers Fort Wilderness before, the kids play area used to be right here and there used to be a tree that had a, a lawnmower blade that had grown around the lawnmower blade and you could always find it there but now the kids play area is literally right over here. Right over here is the kids play area. 
So it's not too far, but it's even got a better view. The view from the play, kids play area from across the street there, great view. But right now I'm actually standing on a pad for another food truck to come in. So they are starting to arrive and one, one that rolled up, I know I will be trying tonight. This is settlement trading post over here, which is the other gift area and also food that you can get for your campground, charcoals and all that. Okay, so let's go into settlement trading post and see what goodies and Disney stuff they have in there for us. So we're in settlement and of course Fort Wilderness right there, but they had the 50th tire cover for your um, camper or trailer and they are open from 11 to 9 correct 11 to 9 right so they still have their christmas stuff out but it is a little bit smaller than meadows meadows is the main um store here at fort wilderness but they of course have the popcorn in the hundredth but this is a new popcorn that we just got in it's a mexican cocoa popcorn might have to get a bag to try that and then of course their candies and if you're staying here like we discussed in the other video they do have supplies to make your own meals so they have egos and broccoli and tater tots pizzas bigger pizza sausage um chicken nuggies they have pot pies down there so they have just about everything that you could get while you're here staying in your camper or tent and of course your chips and salsas and cheeses for when you're sitting by the campfire wanting a snack and then of course cold drinks and libations right there okay and these are new to me i have not seen these hoop de doo review right there kid shirts but then they have an adult three-quarter sleeve right there those are pretty cool Here's some of their t-shirt selections. It is still $19.99. Okay, Todd says it's a kid's shirt. That's why it's $19.99. Yep. So these are $29.99. They look like that. We'll have some long sweatshirts. It is supposed to get colder here Friday. Let's see, it is $52.99 for that one. Are they all the same or are they different? I don't know where the stickers are. Hold on a second. No prices on these, but I think all their sweat long sleeves are $52.99. I love their corksicle water bottles right there. Their other 50th water bottles right there. And then comes down to more of the 50th. Their print. And of course, they can send you home with a checker set right there of Chippendale. And these might be the cutest magnets I've ever seen. If you've ever been to Hoopty Doo, you do understand what this is. So the first truck we have is the Apps truck. And this is their menu right here. They have an Apps dog, hamburgers, tin, tinder burger, grilled chicken, pretty much everything and the prices I mean 13 14 dollars seems pretty fair with what we got no chicken nuggets tonight oh well and then so that's one of the food trucks so this is fat ones right here it is no longer owned by Joey Fatone owned by a new owner but this is their food truck and this is their menu right here but it's hot dogs you know me and my hot dogs so I gotta get one of those and then we got over here And then of course we have the Naked Cupcake, which pretty much says what it is. It's a Naked Cupcake and you decorate it. You put all your fillings and stuff like that, your candy toppings, your frosting. Um, but that is another truck that they have here. So this is their menu here for the cupcake flavors and all that good stuff. There's the prices. And she's actually getting some ready right there. We're not yet ready to open, but she's getting some ready. So if you can't make up your own, oh, there we go. If you can't make your, your own mind, she'll help you do it for you. But this is all their signature flavors and the My Dress, Dress My Cupcake experience right there. So, cute little card. So me and Michelle are sitting here waiting for everybody to get set up. It, they 
most of them all open at 5.30 to 9.30 is the... And it's probably going to be dark when they open. Yes. We're trying to get some pictures exactly. for you before it gets, you know, too dark. Too dark. And, um... So I'm sitting facing the fat ones, <laughs> which Todd says that's all hot dogs? That's hot dogs. Used to be owned by Joy Fatone, is no longer owned by Joy Fatone, so... They have brought that franchise. And then we have the Naked Cupcake, which is just yeah. what it says. But it's this. So you tell them what you want on the cupcake. Yeah. It's not like you get to do it yourself. No, you, you don't you get want. to dress it yourself. You tell you tell her what you want. Gotcha. Or she has some pre-made ones up there that we've already seen. Got you. It's this cart right over here. This pizza in yeah, a cone. Pe me. We still don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Pizza Iconic. Pizza Iconic. Or pizza Iconic. Okay, that sounds good. I like the it pizza, is a pizza cone. Pizza in a cone. Yeah, so this is pizza a new. Pizza a cone. Yeah. Anyway. When we were here the other night for the hoop de doo, um, these trucks were not here, but we came for. Oh, our um, Christmas, the, um, Christmas video. Yeah, the, the lights right along. They were set up, and some of the same trucks are here, and there are some trucks that were here before that are not here tonight, and there are some new ones here, so. We can't wait to give this a try. And like I said, this is part of our Disney dining quest. So we had to come over here and do it. Yeah, I want the pepperoni cone. I know. That looks really cool. And I'm waffling on the the Pereira Rocher. There we go. Now you delicious. Yeah, there you're talking because and that's one of my favorite chocolates. On my right is the Apps. Yeah. Apps, which it's, it says Apps Pizza, but they don't have pizza. They have like... Chicken tenders. Well, you got a menu, right? Yeah, I got a. I showed a shot of the menu of that. So, so far we got one, like two, three, burgers? four, five. Yeah. Yeah. Fries. Fries, like chicken strips. Okay. They do not have chicken nuggies. It said tonight, I believe, and no um, empanadas tonight. So I was a little. But there's usually a truck. Well, we're gonna go right for a back hot dog here. and a pizza cone. So yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Truck's usually right back here, but there's not one here tonight. So. We'll there see if he comes in a little bit. Carousel. It looks like it's a super creamy, dairy-free, soft serve ice. Yes. Milk, and it cuts off, so it's not ice cream. It's and like it, ice it is milk. so good, you'll come back around but and it says around it's and around. Free, gluten free, dairy free. It's free of everything. So. As long as it's not free of sugar, I'm good. Sugar and flavor. Sweet. That's all I need. This is the poster for the Pizza Iconic Ferrero Rocher milkshake right here. And there's the pizza iconics. And then we got the cones. And you know, for $8, I don't know how big they are, but we'll see how this is. And then add toppings for a dollar. And then frappes, the Ferrero shares $8, the Oreos $8. And then drinks, the Cokes, the Sonnies, and stuff like that are the charge right there. So we're just waiting for 5.30 until they open. And that is the carousels cart right there. Um, it looks like they have opened early. They are opening early, so you can go up and get your nut-free, dairy-free, dairy <laughs> vegan-free. It says soft-serve ice. Oh, it's not. A, I thought it was ice cream. Okay, I'm definitely get the fruit. Like that's like the Gator Frost. That I it could it? be. It could be. Should we go ahead and try a cone? No, I don't want to cone. Oh. What's well, a cup? It's in a oh. cup. Well, that's okay, okay we're gonna go get a cup of this. So first up is the carousel. This is a regular right here. This is mango, and this was eight dollars, right here. They do have a smaller, no, seven dollars. I apologize. This was seven dollars. Mango ice. They had. I did notice one of the things that said about the truck roundup yeah. was the more affordable pricing of the food. Okay. So this is seven dollars. Um. <laughs> Tonight's flavors were mango, oh, and has a cherry, changing spoon. that is cool, mango, cherry, cotton candy, and there was mango, cherry, cotton candy, oh, and lemon. Mango, so, cherry, cotton candy. So this is what I'm we got. Like a flight of ideas. Today. I know. What does that mean? She is like We watched Shark roll. Tank last night and they were talking about edible spoons and forks. Would you pay a little extra for that to get away with plastic? I would have. Would you pay a little extra? If he would have charged me. They have spoons me. that you can eat. Yeah. <laughs> I was all with them. Yeah. yeah. I anyway, agree with you. Now we're with pasta. Okay, so we're going to try this because yeah. the rest of them's not open yet. So cheers, honey. Cheers. That is good. <laughs> that is fantastic. 
what's in it if there's nothing in it? I don't, I don't care. This is great flavor. That's pretty good. It tastes just like the fruit. I would have to say, mm. I'd get, oh God, I hate to say this. Don't come after me in the comments. I'd get this over a Dole Whip. No way. Yes, no way. I no. would. I would. Well, you know, no. me and my pineapple. Oh. No way. But it is still good. I would. I would get this definitely over. It is creamy. And it, it's like, it doesn't leave any, like, anything in your no mouth. No film. Right. Yeah, no milky, fatty film. Mm. Very good. And this truck is that also... Would be good on a hot floor today. Yes. And this, I agree with you. Do they have, like, a pineapple kind of thing? A tropical? No. This no. was all the flavors they had that I mentioned. But this yeah. truck is also, you can rent the truck for um, school events, charities, weddings, stuff like that. So, that's pretty neat. It's good. We're having dessert before mm. we eat dinner. That's the way I like to do it. Okay, and it looks like the other food truck has arrived. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six now. So we have six food trucks tonight. And this one is a normal one that's usually always here. He sits on the pad because I believe it's a Disney food truck. But we're gonna find that out to make sure. Okay, so Michelle went over to Fat Ones and she walked back to the table. I do not know what... Oh sauerkraut and mustard foot long a coke yeah that's Are their they... half pound hot dog oh. and then it has brooklyn flats they call them they're okay or down there i'm gonna steal one okay well cheers <laughs> cheers honey <laughs> man oh. those are good 10.99 for that hot dog in the flats what else did you get there? Okay, and also Michelle at Fat One's got street corn nuggets right there. It's got a little aioli and looks like some cilantro on top. So we can't wait to give these a try. Cheers, go. there Cheers. we go. Mm. Cilantro, that was good. Yeah. It's like a corn nugget, a little mm -hmm. saltier, probably from the tahini. But that's exactly. Yep, go right ahead. I saved them for us. Oh, got a little spicy. Mm -hmm. Kicked it in there They're at the though. end. Very nice. So we are going to try the half pound hot dog, which, as you can dog. tell, is splittable. Sour cream and mustard. The only way to eat a hot dog right there. No, not yeah. for me, but okay. I got it for him because I knew he likes sour. Thank dog. you, honey. Here we go. Big bite. Of course, the sauerkraut, but the dog is really nice. I like that. It tastes like a hot dog. Buns like soft. Yeah, all-American hot dog. That was the half-pound Brooklyn dog with sauerkraut and mustard and with the Brooklyn Flats. That's what it is, Brooklyn Flats. Which I'm going to say it's kind of unimpressive. I don't know about this. He knew about the cart. I'd never heard of him before, but that's just a hot dog. I think the Disney ones are better. Okay. So if I'm this close, I'm jumping to Casey's. <laughs> Take a ferry boat. Dog. Take a boat right across the lake. You'll be right at Casey's in Magic Kingdom. If you have a reservation, if you have a ticket, if it's not crowded, if you can get in. And this is the other food truck that has arrived. Very cute, but it is a Disney food truck because you've got Mickey on the front, and then this is what they're known for, the Fort Wilderness Macaroni and Cheeseburger for $13.99 right there. The menu right there, the Fort Wilderness, the Angus Cheeseburger, Macaroni and Cheeseburger, All Beef Hot Dog for $9.79. Corn Dog Nuggets, Pioneer Berry Salad, Chicken Breast Nuggets, Fort Wilderness Vegetable Burger right there. Uh, snacks, onion rings, french fries, popcorn. So this is truly a Disney food truck. So they were a little late to the party, but the theming on this thing is fantastic. Of course it's Disney, so let's look at some of their stickers on the back. We got Fire Rock 
Geyser, Whispering Canyon, Cooper Creek, Copper Creek, God, let's see. Boulder Ridge. Those all sound familiar. Great sticker right there. Hoop dee doo. And then these right over here. Two more additions. Yes. This is the Ferrera Rocher. Is that how you say yeah. it? Ferrera Rocher. And it's like a Frappuccino. Frappa. Frappuccini. Delicious. It yeah, says. there we go. So that's that. And then. Let's try this one first. Okay. Here, I'll let you take the first one. one of my favorite that tastes just like the whole candy together wow if you've ever had one of these little Ferrero shares on top That's that is tasty. that drink I don't taste coffee though no there's no coffee? no no coffee oh. no it's just frappalicious it's not a frappuccino it's frappalicious you're right yeah it's Kelly delicious. was right you may have seen him come in <laughs> one of our other videos he made a special appearance in one of our other videos so um, he is um, over at Hoopty Doo, but he's the one that organizes all the truck roundup here. So that's pretty Did a great awesome. Job. That's good. Yeah. Okay. That looks intriguing. Yeah. This is a pizza cone. It is pepperoni pizza in a cone. And I'm going to let Michelle try this first because it's a little warm and she likes nice hot stuff. She loves pepperoni pizza. So we're going to see. Right. I'm sure it's good. I'm going to have one more sip of this. Nice and cheesy, as you can see. It's hot. It's hot. Good? It's a pizza. Okay. So this was $8. Oh, my God. And this was $8 right here. So I will have to say that's worth the $8. If you go to Starbucks, that's how much you're going to pay there. This is worth the $8. Yeah, that's how much I paid for the tea the other day, I remember. So that's yeah. probably about Yeah. Hard. Okay, let's give this a try. That's probably more filling than it looks. That's just a little hard <laughs> and chewy, but it's good. Yeah. Pepperoni's good. Yeah, very good. And nice and hot. They make them right there. So you'll place your order and then they'll call you out and come back to the truck. So. The good thing about here is there's enough trucks that you have a good variety mm -hmm. of things. So everybody should be able to find something that they like. So. And it's pretty cool. It feels like you're in a, I know. a little carnival. This is awesome. I mean, it's filled up. I mean, the restaurants are closed, of course, here. But there's a lot of people coming in on the golf carts. They'll watch the fireworks. Oh, yeah, the fireworks are at um, 8.15, I think, tonight. So they'll watch the fireworks from the shore. A uh, picnic table set up. Yeah, really nice. Pretty if cute. you get a chance, I would definitely come here. It'd be a nice non-park day type thing. Sure. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, 5.30 to 10, 9.30. And then Kelly just told us when it's um, holiday weeks, they'll usually come out a lot more. So just to help with the overflow and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck on the okay. flats. Look how skinny that is. I was worried about this being too chocolate, but I think it's just no, the right amount. Good. I enjoy everything. The corn nuggets were a little, a little spicy, but I like that. Yeah. I enjoy all of it. The mango was really good. Mm -hmm. So. We're gonna enjoy some of this food while we can. Okay, travelers, we have enjoyed our trip here to Disney's Fort Wilderness Campground and the food truck roundup. People are everywhere. Names are being called, music's playing. Disney finally showed up with their food truck, but we've gotten too much food. We're gonna enjoy the rest of our food. Michelle's gonna eat some more mango. I'm gonna try some more Ferrero Cher. Like it, really good. Yeah, it's really good. And travelers, like we always say, until next time, Travel and Adventure is out there.